Okay, okay. Um, in the next few questions also, they are asking about to find out the reference angle. Uh, as you can see in this case, uh, they haven't provided us any graph. So either you can graph it if it makes sense to you. If I have to graph it, what will happen? It is 510 and I know 510 and the whole entire unit circle or one circle will be 360 degree, right? So if I set um, 510, if I try to write it down in the form of 360 degree, it will be minus 360 degree and minus 150 degree because 360 plus 150 will give you 510. Why minus? Because it is moving clockwise because when it moves clockwise the angle is negative. So uh, 360 degree that means one clockwise and then 150 more. So 150 more means 150 it will end somewhere here with the terminal side here. Right? Now, we are not concerned about the 360 degree because it will not help us to find the reference angle, right? We are concerned about 150 degree. And because it is negative, we will find the absolute value. So, to find the reference angle, 180 degree because it is less than, 150 is less than 180 degree minus absolute value of negative 150 degree. 180 degree. Let's take this number out of the absolute value. An absolute value of a number is always positive. 150 degree. So we will end up at 30 degree. So it is your choice either graph it to make uh, to have a visual uh, understanding of this, or you can just uh, make a combination of the 360 degree and what is the remaining one to find. The total given angle. Let's do the same drill here. 19 pi 18. It is negative, so I know it is clockwise. And we can write it here as well because it is negative, it is clockwise. Nice. Right? Just to help us understand better. It is clockwise. Now 19 pi over 18. If I make a grouping of these two, 19 pi over 18 is nothing but 18 pi over 18 and negative pi over 18, right? And 18 pi over 18, if you graph it again, and we have to go clockwise, right? Because it is negative. So on the graph, going clockwise, this is 18 pi over 18, which is nothing but pi, right? And Pi 8 more, and that will be your terminal side. Sorry, my lines are not straight. We get the point, right? Pi 8 more, and this is nothing but reference angle because reference angle is being formed with the terminal side and the x axis. So, without doing more calculation, we can just write my reference angle is nothing but negative pi 18 because negative pi 18 is the reference angle that is the above the 18 8th pi which is nothing but 180 degree or pi. Let's try a few more. Again in this case it is negative so that means we are coming from the clockwise direction and 13 pi over 12 I can make the grouping of this is nothing but 12 pi over 12 and pi 12 more, right? But here's the thing, we cannot have the reference angle as negative. So we have to take the absolute value of negative pi over 18 and we will end up with our reference angle as pi over 18. Same case here, 12 over 12 pi. On the unit circle coming from here this is 12 pi over 12 negative right and pi 12 more pi 12 more so this is terminal angle and I cannot leave it here 
the mistake that I did in, did, uh, in the previous question. I need to find the absolute value because reference angle has to be positive. So absolute value of negative pi over 12, which is nothing but pi over 12. This is my reference. Let's try it one more time for this one. Now it is negative 250 degree, okay, because it's negative again clock, clockwise. If we try to understand clockwise again, this is 0 degree, 360, this is 180, 90, and 270 degree, right? If you are coming from here, so 90, 180, and 250 it should be somewhere here and terminal side will be here because we are coming from the clockwise and that's why it's negative it is less than 270 okay so 180 i'm not concerned about 180. what we are concerned about this part because this is forming our reference angle the reference angle is always terminal between the terminal side and the x-axis and this portion is between terminal side and the x-axis. Till here, it is 180 degree. Whatever is left is reference angle. So if we calculate it, we can write it down, absolute value of the given angle. Given angle is 250. Absolute value of the given circle angle minus 180 degree. Minus 180 degree because the given circle angle is less than 270 degree. If it was more than 270 degree, then we would have, instead of 180 degree, we, we could, would have used 360 degree. So, absolute value of 250 degree is 250 minus 180 degree, and it should give you 70 degree. Okay, let's check our answers with the answer sheet. Okay. Question number seven, their answer is 30. Our answer is 30. Perfect. Question number 9. Our answer is 512. Their answer is 512. Check. Question number 8. Their answer is 518. We got 518. Check. Question number 10. 70 degree? 70 degree. Checked. 